So we got a Victorino Okay, that was fast. <laughs> we have a Victorinox today. This is Victorinox Cadet. By now, unless you've been living under a rock, you know what this is. Everyone knows what this is. It's a classic at this point. It's the Victorinox Cadet, a staple in a lot of people's carry system, and for good reason. But the question is, does this have a place in 2023 today? Let's get into that, see what I love about it, what I don't, and to see if it's worth buying, which it is. But let's dive a little deeper. First, as always, we're gonna run into the specs made by Victorinox, obviously. Made in Switzerland, obviously. The closed length on this is 3.3 inches long. Aluminum handle scales, you can get these in a ton of different colors. The tools being the same, there are nine tools on here, I'm saying it like that because it's hard for me to say that there's nine. They say there's nine, I can find maybe seven. I don't, I think they, we'll get into it. Seven to nine tools on the Cadet. Weight, we're under two ounces at 1.6 ounces in weight. So that's just the quick specs. Now let's go through the tools. Now this is, Ooh, I think it's like my third or fourth cadet and that's not on purpose. I, I really wish it was my first cadet because <laughs> I would have been cool to have, you know, the story because I think the first one I got was like, you know, 2012 or something, a little late to the game. But the reason why it's my third or fourth one is because I kept losing it. And again, it's not because I misplaced it, it's because I put it in my pocket and because this doesn't have any pocket clip and it has... I mean, these scales are nice. They have texture to them somewhat, but in terms of putting this in your pocket, whew, slips straight out. It's for me, I don't know if it happens to anybody else. If you're not wearing like a straight pocket, like if you're wearing jeans, it's probably fine, but if you're wearing anything with a slight angle on it, at least for me, that thing is slipping right out. So this has now become kind of my, my jean knife or the one that I just kind of put in small pouches or packs. So I don't have a lot of history with this specific one. You'll see that because there's not a lot of blade use on them, but in cadets, see, I almost cut myself. These guys are always sharp, always trying to, you gotta be careful. It's always the Victorinoxes that cut you. It's oh, it never any, it's never any knife. It's always these, it's always these ones that do it. I just barely got away with it, okay. The reason there's not a whole lot of blade use on this is because it's like the third one, but I've had a lot of experience with cadets in general. The blade length, a two and a half inch long blade, and just to compare it with something like the Case Trapper, and this is a big knife, this is a big case. You can see that right in there. You can see that right there just kind of towers over it. And this is, what did I want to compare it here? with the Spyderco Dragonfly. But with the Dragonfly, I mean, Spydercos are known to be super slicey and thin. I mean, the Victorinox has that beat, obviously, because we want a lightweight and slim package when we're carrying this small multi, I think you can call it a multi-tool. It'll be thinner than the Spyderco Dragonfly, but again, it is, but again, it does have a longer blade length. Pretty classic design with that spear point full flat grind and fully fine edged. The steel on here, it's like they're, they're stainless steel. I don't even know what it is, but it's Victorinox of stainless steel and it doesn't rust. And for some reason, the thing never <laughs> gets dull. Obviously I haven't put a lot of use into this one, but I just, they always stay sharp. It could also be that they're my backup blade, but I like to think it's like a magical super steel that Victorinox has in their factory. The next tool we're on here, so that's tool one. We're gonna see if we can get to nine here. The next tool we have is the file. The file, I don't know, maybe I've used five times in all the years that I've had a cadet. I barely use the file. I, I know people that actually do use the file, so it's an important tool. And they're considering this another tool, is the nail cleaner. So I, I guess we have two tools there. You can probably use it as a small flathead even, or even as a scraper, but nail file and uh, the nail cleaner. The next one we have here, the next tool we have is the can opener and Phillips. Now this, 
this I've actually used quite a lot. Not not the can opener, but the Phillips head. This was really nice to have. A lot of you know the smaller multi tools like this Gerber. You know, I may actually have a Phillips. Point being, a lot of them don't. Um, they don't have a Phillips, but even the the bigger multi tools, which I should have had on me, like the this is the Leatherman um, Skeletal CX. It has a Phillips and a flat head, but if the flat head was put here, then I'd have to switch it out. So it's kind of nice that this is just a pretty standard Phillips and it works pretty darn well. And then the can opener, I don't think I've ever used the can opener. And the last, so that's two. So we got two, four, five, okay? The last, I guess, set of tools is the, is the bottle opener the flathead, also kind of same, similar design to the Phillips, then the wire stripper. So we got three, five, seven, eight. Now where in the world is number nine? Why, well, I, I just, you tell me where nine is. I, I can't find the ninth tool. I know I said there were seven, I actually, I forgot about the wire stripper, but, but I'm I'm still technically right because there is no ninth tool on here. I we're gonna call that eight. That's eight. I don't see nine. I see seven, but I'm gonna give it eight because of the nail cleaner thing. I don't see nine. But that was just kind of the quick rundown on the specs and the tools within the cadet. You get it quite a lot for such a small package, I have to say, and it's really an in-between from a traditional folder and a multi-tool, right? That That's kind of what a Victorinox is, because when you have a standard multi-tool, yeah, they do have a knife, but you don't really call Victorinox's multi-tools, right? You, you call them Victorinox's, you call them Swiss Army Nines. You don't really call them multi-tools, even though they technically are but they're not your traditional. They're really, they're, I feel like they're a knife first and then the tool after versus the tool first and the knife is just part, is just part of one of the tools. It's, it's really, it's a knife. It's a knife with some extra features. The classic, it's a classic piece. It stayed pretty much the same because it works. It really works. It really works and even in a time, and even in a time today, and it's not like, wow, it's a weird time that you can't carry a Swiss Army knife, but I feel like there is kind of, not a peer, uh, peer pressure, but you know, you gotta get that new knife, and this is not really a new one, but I remember when it came out, not too long ago, this is the Spyderco Para 3, and this specific one is in the Spy 27 steel. You can get all, you know, wrapped up in the steels and the new and latest drops and whatnot, and, don't get me wrong, like, this is one of my favorite knives in my collection, I love it. But sometimes we tend to look down on the classics, on the cadet, and recently, if you realize, I kind of like reviewing the classics because I feel like they've been forgotten. And all the recommendations now, if you were the top five knives, the top EDC, we're not talking about you know, the Griptilians and the Leaks and the Cadets. We're talking about the newest and latest. And I actually see some of those great knives to kind of get discontinued. For me, it's kind of sad to see, but it is what it is. When you see something like the Cadet that's still in production and still super popular, it's a great sign to know that it actually is worth having in 2023. And that's basically the general idea. I know in the beginning I said, is it worth it? It is worth it. I highly recommend it. I love giving them, especially the people who are first getting into this type of you know, world of EDC and knives and whatnot. This is a great introduction and they may actually already have a Swiss Army knife. It's a great knife to go backpacking with, great knife for camping, EDC, doesn't matter what it is because you get a little bit more than what you paid for. In terms of paying for it, it's $45. I think it's super worth it and even if you have a humongous knife collection or if you just got into it and you haven't considered the cadet or you are considering the cadet, get it. It's fun. It, it's something about it. It's, it's a nice knife. It's a great and I think it's here to stay and I'm happy about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button. If you have any recommendations for any videos or reviews that you want me to do, leave a comment below and until next time, stay safe out there.